Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking about your where statement. So where statement is the one which we will use for subsetting or filtering a data set. Other than where statement, we can also use your if statement to filter the data. In this video, we'll be talking only about your where statement. So syntax is very simple where and you need to provide a condition over here. So in condition, there are multiple sort of operators which you can use to filter a data set. Okay, so here the first few which you are seeing here, all these are your comparison operators whose meaning also you guys must be aware of. So for, uh, one is equal, not equal, then greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal, and then we have in and not in. So we'll try to execute a code for each one. Okay, so first is your equal. So here I'll be using your sas help dot class which has your name, sex age, height and weight. Okay. So over here you can see the data, new data set name which I have given as final where my filter data set values will be seen. Set where I have taken sas help dot class. Now over here you can see where sex is equal to m. So if you see the data set you have either females or male. So what I have done is I want only the people who are male. Okay. So if you run the data set, you got all the people whose gender is male over here. If instead of equal to, if I write not equal to, I can write any as a mnemonic over here. You can see either you will use your symbol, either you will use your mnemonic. So for not equal, you can use your any. So I'm using net any. So obviously if I do this only people whose gender is female will be seen here. You can see. Correct. So this is known as your filtering the data set. Okay. This is your first part. Now next one, let's see in and not in. So in means what if you want to select multiple values and not in wants you want to remove multiple values. So let's take one example for it. Okay. See here I've given where age first let's go with in. Okay. Where age in 13 comma 16. So if you see there are multiple sort of age 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Okay. So over here I've given where age in 13 comma 16 means only the people whose age is 13 and 16 will be seen in my final output. You can see 13 and 16. Now instead of in if I write not in then what will happen? Anyone whose age is not 13 and not 16 will be seen. So of course it will be 11, 12, 14 and 15 in case of class. You can see 14, 12, 11 and 15, right? So this is your in and not in comparison operators. Now the next one is very simple. The equal to not, uh, the greater than, less than, greater than or equal and less than or equal. So either you can go with the symbols which everybody must be aware of. Or instead of that, you can go with the mnemonic GTLT for greater than and less than. If you want greater than or equal GE and less than or equal LE, you can use. Okay. So over here, let's take some example. I have written GE that is greater than or equal to 13. So 13, 14, 15 and 16 will be my output. Correct. You can see 13, 14, 15 and 16. Correct. Now, if I want, let's say. I can go with the symbol also. I have given less than 13. So less than 13 we had 11 and 12. So 11 and 12 1 are seen here. Okay. So this is your comparison operators which uh, we were talking about till now. Now let's move to your logical operators. So in logical operators we have two mainly. One is AND, one is OR. So in this for AND both the conditions has to be true and for OR either condition is true. Okay, so let's understand these two with an example. So if you see this one, both conditions are true. So where sex is equal to male and age is equal to 12. That means when I'm using and the gender has to be male and that person age has to be 12. Then only it will come in the final output. You can see here James, John, Robert all are male and their age is 12. That's why they are seen here. Now let's talk about your OR operator. So in OR operator, you need to understand one thing. Okay. That is 
both the conditions will be true but they will be applied separately what does it mean let's see with an example here i have taken where sex is equal to male or age is equal to 12 so first it will work on this condition that is sex is equal to male so all the observation whose gender is male will be seen or age is equal to 12 then this condition will be applied obviously there are few females whose age will be 12 so those uh, observations will also be seen i will run it now you can see all the male observations are seen and there are two female whose age is 12 so both the conditions are true but are applied separately not together when both the condition has to be true together that is your and operator okay i hope this is clear now let's move on to the next operator that is between and operator so this is like to get the range between two numbers okay so over here i have taken example where weight between 90 and 100 so anyone whose weight is between 90 and 100 will be my output so let's execute this code and you can see barbara john and judy are having weight 99 99.5 90 so this is between your 90 and 100 okay so this is the usefulness of your between and operator next is your searching a specific character so here contains operator will be used it can be asked in interview as a separate question so please listen to me carefully now where name contains ro i have given okay correct so what what it will do it will actually search for a specific character here so if you see the names here ronald and robert are having ro correct and even carol is having ro so all these names are having ro together in their name so i want to search these names and the specificity i have given is ro now can you see i have given capital r and small o so only ronald and robert will be seen in that case but not carol why is it happening because this is your case sensitive so if i run this you will see robert and ronald but if i give this as small r and o that time you will find my output will be only carol and not ronald and robert because it is case sensitive so you need to be aware of this so this is like searching a specific character now the last one is your like operator or pattern matching so in this we have two things to know one is use of percentage and one is use of your underscore so first let's understand the percentage so where name like in quotation i have given j percentage so what will happen any name starting with capital j and after that any letters can be there that will be seen so that is the usefulness of your percentage okay again this is also your case sensitive see i will show you if i give you small uh, j what will happen i am not getting any output because you can see all the names starts with your capital j that's why i did not get it it is case sensitive so what i will do i will write here capital j and then i have written percentage that means any name which starts with j and it can continue with any sort of letter after that so if i run this you can see all the names starting with j are seen here same way if you want something opposite let's say any name ending with y okay any name ending with y then you have to give percentage first and y next okay so if i execute this code you can clearly see henry jeffrey judy and mary y is the ending letter here correct so this is your percentage next is your underscore which we need to learn so first if you see sasl dot class right over here can you see jane now jane is having four letters and any are the two last letters so what i did i have written any in quotation and i use underscore twice so any name with two letters before any that will be shown here okay so if i run this code you can see jane will be seen now if i in make it like this any and then again if i write underscore here and if i run this you can see jane and janet are coming because there is one more i gave okay one more underscore so the underscore has to be filled okay this condition is specified then it's done so i hope my video is clear to all of you thank you everyone for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel